Hey everyone, something very exciting we wanted to show you today. I'm Vladimir with uh, NowSerts slash Automate and I have Dimitr here with me. Really quick, wanted to go over something we have seen in uh, many of our insurance agencies that, uh, that are using forms to capture leads, to capture any kind of information. And here is one typical form that we see quite often. And Dimitri, what do you think? What is what are some of the things that strike you being not quite right with this form? Well, it starts off by asking very personal questions right from the get go, the name, the mobile phone, the email. It's as if you're just wanting their contact information. That is quite off putting, isn't it? This is actually, in my opinion, quite an expensive form. It's expensive because it takes quite a bit of investment in advertising in order to get people to your website to complete this form or a similar of the search form. And then the bounce rate. Bounce rate is very important, right? People coming to your website and seeing the form where you're asking, I have seen even date of birth, social security number, driver's license number right off the bat, right in the, in the very first page. One more thing that I think is quite off-putting and, and, and unlikely for a uh, for a prospect to complete this form is that there is no result at the end. They will not get any price. There is nothing. They will, this, this is kind of a dumb form. It's collecting uh, info collecting form. Next, 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 and at the end, submit button. We're going to get back to you when we get back to you. Well, we have a solution for all of that, and it's it's quite a clever one. Let me let me quickly show you that. Um, first thing I wanted to show you is the it's a the 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 form builder itself then i will show you the the actual final results but a form of this nature and look at how we have structured this particular one you can obviously structure it the way you want you can move things around as you wish but we're starting off with what business state transportation business type how is your business structured this by the way is for commercial auto one of the most difficult forms to complete and provide pricing at the end of it. Once again, very generic questions. Business owner age group, and I will discuss this when I show you the actual form, but this is an important subject. We're not asking for the date of birth. Obviously, important question in order to, to rate the business and provide an indication at the end. But on the very first page, asking for the age, probably not a good idea. All you need is the group that they're following under. 20 to 30, 40, 50, 60, and so on. You can go 25, 35, and so on, the way you wish to structure it. This is just an example once again. The cool thing about this particular form is that once you complete the form, once you build your form, you can integrate it by clicking on this button, get this code or the link itself. The link you can use on your social media, on Twitter, on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, wherever you want it to be. That, in my opinion, is the best part about it. These forms can live anywhere. Yeah, the, the distribution is very easy. That is correct. How are you going to distribute this form? This lives on your website. Well, this can live on your website as well, but besides that, it can also be distributed elsewhere. So what is the next thing, though? I mean, the form itself is a form. The only difference here that we're showing is that one of them is poorly designed, as in the questions, personal questions are up front and business questions are at the end. This one is the other way around. Well, sure. Does that make a difference? It makes a really big difference, but that's not the only thing. With Automate, we are providing the ability to send the insured or the prospect an estimation immediately after submission. And here's how it's done. For this one in particular, it, it has been quite difficult to do due to the fact pretty much every question has an associated value or rating behind it. And I'm going to give you one example. Let me show you real quick. For every driver, there is logic behind it. For the limits of liability, cargo, physical damage, etc., reefer breakdown, trailer interchange, etc., that there is limit behind, there's some sort of calculation behind it, behind it. For the age group, for the business type, for the distance they travel, for filings, for example, even, I have put a little bit of logic behind that as well, very simple one, simple wait step, do you need federal filings, simple questions, yes or no. If they need federal filings, we're going to add 1,000. 
If they don't, we're going to subtract 1000. Yeah, the market values change, right? So if you want to change those values, how is it is to actually do it? Oh, it's very easy. You know, very good question. This is one thing that you reminded me of. Building a form that can provide immediate estimations online would cost somewhere in the range between 20 to 30,000, maybe even 40,000 in development and quite a bit in maintenance, a lot of maintenance. You want to change something, you're calling your IT company to do so. Obviously, they're charging for it. How easy is, is it to change this? Very easy, you know? It's not a thousand. That's not true. That's not how, how my, my market is. If I want filings for my truckers, it's only a hundred bucks. All right, that's fine. I'm just going to do 100, save the action down below, and I'm done. That's it. Instead of a, a thousand, I'm just going to be adding a hundred. And let me just go ahead and save it. That immediately updated this. There, there, there it is. I'm going to leave it back to a thousand because of the way I just want it. But you can obviously do it your own way. And it doesn't work just for commercial auto, by the way. It doesn't matter the line of business. The line of business is irrelevant. This is just an example. And next step, next thing I wanted to show you real quick is what does that form look like on on your website, on your social media, or wherever is it that you're going to be embedding it. Here's an example. Here is a very simple example of a landing page. Obviously, imagine this is your website. It will look much better. It will have better content, et cetera, et cetera. But here's mine, and here's the form. This is what, what we built, right? This, this was the form that we built here is presented right here. And let's go through it. Like I mentioned before, at the very first, you ask for simple business related questions. Everybody loves to be a businessman. That's just the nature of the world and loves to answer these questions. Much more likely for people to stay on your website. And what happens, Mitko, if people remain longer on someone's website? Yeah, that's a really good point, Vlad. It's about the search engine orientation and Google will actually go ahead and rank your website higher. People stay longer. It will actually increase your traffic on your website. And with the previous form, all you're doing is you're essentially increasing your bounce rate because people are not filling out the form and you're just uh, spending money on it, marketing it. That's what it ends up being expensive, like you mentioned. That is true. So. Having a form like this will keep your people on the website for longer because, as you see, they're interacting, they're adding their vehicles, they're adding their drivers. Uh, I'm just putting some, uh, obviously, fake values. You can you can have as many trailers and, and vehicles as you wish. I'm not going to add a second trailer. I'm just going to I'm just going to go like this and then the driver and look at this. Uh, uh, I felt accident. Drag racing, let's add some more of them. Uh, failure to yield, good enough. And let's go with this state. And the age group is like this, no more drivers. I mean, we can add more, but good enough for this example. And this is where we ask for the business info and the personal info as well. I'm going to put my name here. If I can spell it, that would be good. And this is where we are asking for personal info. All right, so so guys, so we're on this page now, the very last one. This is where we are asking for business name, for the first name and last name of the owner. This is where we are asking for the address. And look at the very bottom. Provide me the cell phone where quote will be sent. That's very important. How likely are they to provide you a real phone number? Very likely because that's where the quote is going to go. Provide me the email where the quote will be sent. You're not going to display the price on the screen. You're going to send them an email. It is very unlikely that they will provide test at test.com. They will provide you the real email. And once they click on submit button, I mean, you can have your own message. I've written down, we have submitted your indication to the email and phone provided. And here's what it looks like at the end. This is how it comes. Here you go. Uh, auto liability, general liability, trailer interchange, etc. These are some of the answers to the questions that uh, the user has uh, provided. 
here's some additional information. You can provide vehicles, drivers, trailers, information, whatever it is that you want in your email. But this is a very simple design. This is the, the where your logo will be. That will be obviously your own email address here. It won't be this one. It will be whatever you put it put in here to be. I have put the line of business up here on the top. That's that's your choice, obviously. But we have a really nice call to action. Book an appointment right from here. People click on that. They go to your calendar. Book an appointment and speak to you. That to me, I personally suggest that to be honest, uh, for people to book an appointment versus uh, providing a phone number. You could go both ways. The what we have observed is that the likelihood of closing and selling insurance to someone that has booked an appointment versus someone that has called in is approximately 45% higher. So it is 45% more likely that you would close the deal if that person has booked an appointment versus that person has called you or you have called him or her. So booking an appointment is a, an important call to action in my opinion. It's up to you how you want to call, how, what kind of call to action you, you want to put in here, but you could have a email, you could have a phone number, you could have a calendar, it's up to you. And then what happens? You would say, well, this is kind of an estimate, isn't it? Yes, it is just an estimate. And by the way, my text message just arrived as well. This is kind of an, an estimate. You're correct. But where should you be with that estimate? What I have seen works really well with agencies is they know their market. They know the state that they're working in. They know the line of business they're working with and the markets that they have. Based on that, their estimates are what works really well is providing an estimate that is approximately 10% lower than market value. Because once they receive this number, they're going to call more agents. And what are they going to do? They're going to try to beat that price. They're going to try to get lower estimate from another agent. They won't be able to. You're already 10% lower than market value. What happens next? They're back to you. The mental state here is very important. They're booking an appointment to do what? To buy the quote. They're already in a buying mode. They have got they got their credit card prepared. They have their down payment ready. They are ready to buy. When they book an appointment, they are ready to buy. This is a very important mental state in which you have the have your prospect. That's why it's very much more likely for you to actually close this. You would say, well, but I mean, what am I going to do with the price? It's I quoted or I estimated 10% lower than the market value. I'm not going to be able to beat my own price. That is correct. But remember all the rating questions? It's very easy. Oh, but hold on. You uh, Now you're telling me you want reefer breakdown. You didn't say that before, right? So reefer breakdown is a little bit more, right? Oh, wow. Well, you also have speeding. Well, that's going to be a bit more, right? Well, you didn't tell me about whatever element there is, right? Additional additional things that you would ask them. You're not going to ask them all the rating questions in that form. You're, you're going to leave some rating questions uh, off, right? And that's where the price obviously changes. And that is the beauty of this form. I, I highly recommend using our smart forms versus the standard dumb forms type of uh, information collecting forms just such as this one or similar. And Mitko, what do you think people need to do? I mean, should they attempt to build this thing themselves or should they be contacting us and we build it for them? What do you recommend? It depends if it's a, if it's an easy automation. Of course, they can do it themselves. It's a, If it's a simple line of business like homeowners, it's really easy, really simple. But what I recommend is just contact your account manager and you can work uh, with them together on this so you're sure that it is working right. And if it's a complicated line of business, you definitely need some help. We can even build it for you with uh, some business input on your end. Mm. Very good. So we need your business input in order to, to build this form. We can do it for you. We can teach you how to maintain it. We can maintain it for you. Please give this a try because it's absolutely 
amazing. In the description of this video on YouTube, we are we are going to put the link to uh, to this page so that you can try this yourself. You can go through these questions. We only have commercial auto as an as, a, as an example, and there's a reason for that. As I mentioned, it's one of the more complex line of lines of business. You can imagine, obviously, if you have something simpler, then it will be much easier. We're going to put a link to this form. Please give it a try. And that's about it. Um, thank you very much for enduring this lengthy video. Hopefully it was educational and I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. Uh, just like many agencies have told me it has worked wonders for them. It improves closing ratio. Once again, it uh, uh, improves the bounce rates on your website. People are not bouncing off. They're completing the form, which is which is great. You get more prospect. It's a lot less expensive to market. Distribution of this form is a lot simpler, a lot easier through social media, etc. And something that gives enormous value to your website, enormous value to your prospects, and puts you way ahead of the competition is providing them with instant, I mean immediately instant, quotation on your website for any line of business you can think of. Anything, anything, specialty, anything. Let's build it together. All right, well, that's all I had at the moment. Thank you very much for watching again, and we'll speak on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Contact information will be down below.